My friends, I have just chugged a bunch of vitamins. I might be fairly nice today, but we're going to the aqua park and we need 900 guests by the end of year three. This should be pretty easy. If you've been here before, you know how I like to work. So let's go to turbo mode and let's get that kiosk as fast as possible. So if you haven't noticed, this is a water park. That's right up our alley. I already noticed a problem here though. The boats are able to return, but I said I was gonna be nice today. So I need to just back off a little bit, just back off. We have our kiosk. I got some advice in the comments by some lovely viewers that I should put four roads around the kiosk. I was also told that I can charge $20 instead of 10. I don't think that's cruel. Let's try it. Oh, and look at that. It's about to rain right when I hit $20. Let's check it out. Oh, wait. I'm not paying that much. No, people aren't buying them. I was lied to by some of you. All right, let's just do what I always do. Let's keep it at $10. That's been working for us. Why change it up? Okay, see, now they're buying umbrellas. So the issue with this park is gonna be time. By the time three years rolls around, we're probably not gonna have a lot of people wanting to go on the rides. We're gonna have to make everything free and we might have to depend on a kiosk money. And that's fine with me because I love money. So let's put another kiosk right here. Let's make this umbrella blue so we know it's coming from here. And then we'll put another kiosk. Okay, this guy needs to stop mowing lawns. Just stop it. Stop. Get back to work. Anyway, let's put a kiosk. Let's put one right here. There we go. Let's make these umbrellas orange. So we'll know where people are buying them from. And this island, this would be perfect for a prison. Or maybe I put the food court out here. That sounds fun. Let's do that. Let's just, uh, let's just raise up the land here. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of those trees. I hate nature. It's fairly expensive building this, but it'll be fun to get people out here. So I'm going to put a road like this. And then let's get our burger bar. Let's put it right here. We'll get our drinks. We'll get some fries. But now we need to take this path and bring it all the way back. There we go. And now what we can do is just line up this path with a ton of benches. And then trash cans as well. We can't forget about those. Uh, and I guess I'll give them a bathroom. But as always, 50 cents to take a crap. I'm just going to bring some more path out like this. And that's just to provide more seating. Let's give them a fountain. Yeah. That looks awesome. Now, a problem I've noticed is my admission price is free. That is absolutely ridiculous. $15. And our boats are all getting stuck here. That's what I like to see. And as I say that, we get a balloon stall. A very important item to me. Let's put it right here at the entrance. We'll put another one over here. I like to have lots of balloon stalls. We'll make these ones orange. And let's put another one right here. Make these ones red. Oh, and it's raining again. Here comes the money. I like seeing all different colors of umbrellas. We got a red one, a blue one. There's an orange one. I've ran no advertising campaigns and we almost have 600 guests. So everything's going well so far, just doing nothing. And finally, I get my pizza stall. Let's just put this right here. And where's my handyman? There's some, oh, we just got it. Okay, good job, handyman. So here comes the rain again. Colorful umbrellas everywhere, sort of. The food court looks pretty. Are these people okay? They seem to have been over here for a long time. Yeah, they're pretty pissed off, but I think I'm gonna leave them. That's their fault for going there. In fact, why don't I make another one? Let's just go like this. There we go. Just an entrance and an exit right here. And instead of boats, let's give them some canoes. The last time I had canoes, it was pretty funny. Maybe we can do that again. And somehow a bumper boat got over here. Yeah, that's the wrong station. And meanwhile, all the canoes are getting trapped here. Oh, look. They made it out. Somehow. I'm not sure how they did it, but they're not done. They're still going. Where are they going to go? I told you I'd be nice today. You can't torment all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, I just can't help myself. I have to torment. We're going to cut off the road here. And this is what we're going to do. I have this lovely ride called a chairlift. So if people want to eat, they're going to have no choice but to take the chairlift. I know. Sounds terrible. But it must be done. So the question is, where do I land it? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm going to move the bathroom. We'll put it right here. And then I'm just going to lift up some land here. Just like that. And now we can grab the chairlift. And we'll put it right here. So let's just... And then... Come on over here. Let's lift up some of this land here. There we go. Station platform. All right. Put an entrance. And then entrance exit. Okay. We'll make the chairlift free. And now we can bring the road like this. Okay, so if people want to eat, they have to go on the chairlift. There we go. 
You can see them going. They're like, get me off this island. I probably should have done a long queue line. In fact, let's do that. I mean, it only makes sense if you want to eat. You should have to wait. There we go. So if you want to eat, you better go on the chairlift. We're going to bump up the speed to 9 miles per hour. Look how fast it goes now. That makes it exciting. Look at them. Just speeding across the water. And now let's pick a queue line for this one as well. And then bring them back home. There we go. So they get on the chairlift over here. Then they get off. They wrap around. They have their choice of food and drink. And then when they want to leave, they walk back into the queue line. Not evil in any way. Let's put a souvenir stall. The umbrellas will be purple, so we know that they came from here. And let's also do a balloon stall. This whole area is meant to just empty their wallets. Uh-oh, I just noticed the problem. There's five bumper boats down here. What are they doing here? We'll call this one the bumper boats, even though it's canoes. And this one down here... We'll make this one called Canoes. So now the people will just be confused. We can lie to ourselves and just say that the bumper boats don't want to return to bumper boats. They're having too much fun. Well, all these people want to go on the chairlift. They must all be really hungry. I just wish I could have more chairs. Instead of seven, I wish I could have 50. Well, we are in year three now. So we need to expand our food court here. It's just going to raise up the land a bit. Yep, just like that. And then let's place an ice cream, cotton candy and popcorn okay let's actually make the waters more fun here let's take this fountain let's go right there there we go you might get a little bit wet going across the chairlift here but that's what makes it fun you might even get wet standing in line at least i'm being generous enough to actually have food in the park and somehow an engineer got trapped on my island over here but let's take him off of there we've got all these different coasters that i've been researching so why don't we play with this corkscrew roller coaster here Maybe we have it be above the food court. That could be fun. Let's go like this. We'll do like one of those power launch things. Vertical loop to the left. Back up. We'll do a half loop. Corkscrew. And then we'll have it come down. Look at this. Look how fun this ride is. We'll have a little photo down here because I like to make money. And then some boosters because why not? Let's just get it going really quick. 67 mile per hour boosters. That sounds fun. Another loop. And then another loop. Look at this ride. Some big helixes here. Drops down. Let's go up a little bit more. Boom, I made it. Okay, powered launch. Let's try 50 miles an hour. Okay, it goes up, good, nice. Nothing too intense there. Okay, that might be a little quick, but not bad. Actually, this looks fairly good. I don't think that's bad. We do have 5.85 on the positive Gs, but that's okay. Look at that excitement rating. 6.83. Alright, now let's build the queue line. We'll make it super long so people can't ever leave, and I get victory for sure. Come in for our landing. There we go. We do need an exit, though. That's important. There we go. So they exit at the food. Oh, there it goes. The first ride. They're loving it. So the people really have two choices if they want food. Either wait in line for the chairlift, or take the roller coaster. So now we're soon going to have an issue where half the park is in the food court. That just means I need to expand it. There we go. Perfect. More seating. You can see it's getting a bit crowded here. As long as my guests are happy, that's all that matters. Just ignore this guy. So you know what? We're going to put some security guards in here just to make sure no one causes any trouble. Oh no. Park rating of zero at September 29th. That's because it's too crowded. People are mad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I've only got 30 days to fix this. No, 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 no. Not good, not good. Okay, let's just build a path all the way to the end. Let people leave. People are really upset. Okay, they're storming out. Oh no. Everyone here is really mad. They're all leaving too. Uh-oh. Look at them. Look at them storming for the exit. It's an army of people leaving. <laughs> I think I better run an advertising campaign because I'm about to lose hundreds of people. They are quite upset with me. Let's just watch the number of my guests plummet. Okay, my park rating is shooting back up. Let's hope I can get it back up within 20 days because that's all I have. Oh, 565, just like that. Okay. Now I just need five more guests. Come on. Oh, it's going. That was pretty intense, but I think we're going to make it. Had to pull out some quick thinking there. Look at this recovery. Remember, friends, buy the dips. Ah, we did it. We had a little scare at the end. But with some quick thinking, we pulled it off, and we have victory.
So thanks so much for watching, and if you're new here, consider subscribing. And watch the rest of my videos. Maybe you'll enjoy them. I'll catch you next time. Thank you.